Oh my god. I'm strangled. Okay. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I make fashion and styling videos here on my channel every single week and I also blog at strawberrychicblog.com and in today's video I'm excited to share how I style blanket scarves. I know you have a lot of fun in styling these different ways and I wear them all throughout fall and winter so today I'm going to share my favorite ways on how you can style them. For this video I'm going to be styling this blanket scarf. This is one of my favorites because it has all of my favorite colors in it. I will be linking all of my favorite blanket scarves over on my blog if you're wanting to shop some of my favorites. I will have that linked down below. But this is a 52 by 52 square blanket scarf. This is kind of the standard scarf that you'll find most often in stores and this is the one that I typically wear the most. You can also get rectangular styles and all different types but this is the size that I always wear. So the first thing that you want to do is just lay your blanket scarf on the ground and then you take one corner and just lay it across and fold it to the opposite corner and then you get this triangle and then you kind of want to bunch it up a little bit so it's not super long or else it will go down really low and look a little silly. So just kind of scrunch up the sides a little bit and then you're going to lay it across your chest. And then what you do is just cross the ends in the back and bring them to the front. When it comes to styling blanket scarves, you really just have to kind of play with them and fluff them up to give them kind of the look that you're going for. So I feel like this could look a little cuter. So what I'm going to do is just start tugging through here and kind of folding up under like this. That also helps get it off of your neck a little bit. Again, if you're overwhelmed and feel like you're choking, just kind of pull it off of your neck. And then what you're left with is the typical way on how I see blanket scarves worn the most often. This is just kind of a typical triangle look. If you don't love the look of these ends just hanging out, you can hide them underneath just by tying them. That way it just stays underneath. It looks really clean if you don't love the look of the two tails hanging down. If you want to take the look up a little bit, what you can do is just take the ends and instead of tying it underneath, you can just tie it over the top of the triangle. I do this a lot with my regular scarves too. A lot of people put this knot in the back, but I think it makes it look a little more textured and styled when you keep it in the front like this. The next thing that you can do with your ends is just tuck it underneath the inside of the scarf. This is one of my favorite looks. It makes it just look wrapped and really warm and cozy around your neck. You can also give it a little more texture and twist these up and over the scarf. And then if you have extra room, you can even kind of add it in here, make it look kind of cool and knotted like this. And then you can either do the same over there or you can just throw this one up and under so it doesn't look like too much around your neck. If you're really overwhelmed with all of this around your neck, you can also just throw one side to the back. And that kind of unloads the weight in the front and just fold it up and under and then kind of gives you an asymmetrical look. If you don't love the triangle, all you have to do is fold it up underneath like this and that will make it look a little more traditional like an infinity scarf. And if you like that look a little more, you can also kind of carry over from one of the previous looks and just tie it at the bottom of the circle. You can also hide these ends, just tuck it up under and they will stay because there's so much material around your neck. So this looks just like a clean infinity scarf that's a little more oversized and will keep you warm if you're in a really cold area. You can also roll up your scarf and then that will make it look more like a traditional scarf. So you have this and then you can just drape it over the top. You can just give it a little tie and then pull it to the side. Then what you can also do is just wrap it around twice and then tuck it in to the back. So you're left with a small kind of infinity scarf. 
When it's wrapped up like this, you can also just use it like a traditional scarf and take the loop and two ends and just loop it through each other like this and then just kind of pull so it gives it a little more shape. When you have your triangle, you can also style it just like a poncho. If you unroll it, keep it nice and chunky. And then you put the triangle in the back and just wrap the front two ends around you. I have actually styled this exact blanket scarf on my blog just like this if you are looking for more pictures of it. But you just kind of let it wrap around you. I always do this if I'm really cold in a restaurant and I'm wearing one of these. You can also pull all of the fabric up in front of you so that it's really big in the front and there's not any fabric in the back. And then it just looks like a huge chunky scarf in the front. All right, y'all, so those are my favorite ways on how I wear and style blanket scarves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll also have some photos over on my blog if you want to see a little more detail on the ways I wore them in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.